morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever, whichever part of the world you're in. Welcome back to Adonai's Kingdom. Yeah, my name's uh, Waudi the Messenger. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, before we go f any further, let's just start with a word of prayer. Father, I want to thank you and bless you and honor you. This is the day that you've made. I'll rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for this day, this evening, these sandy beaches, and the goodness that you've accorded us. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Take control over everything, all the messages in Yeshua's name. Use me as an oracle of your message however long or however short it might be, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and Amen. Well, guys, welcome back. This is Waudi the Messenger. And uh, today, I just decided to make, pass the message from, uh, this place is called St. Ives. St. Ives is in uh, Cornwall. Yeah, St. Ives in Cornwall. You can have a look. It's a nice beach. It's one of the few sandy beaches of the UK. Yeah. This is it. This is what we call the St. Ives. But yeah, it's a very nice beach. Everyone is just enjoying themselves. And as usual, for me, wherever I go, when I get the opportunity, you know, you should go for by your calling. Whatever opportunity you get. Even you see business people, whenever they, wherever they go, the first thing they do is write. I mean, they are just thinking of their businesses and then they go the f for pleasure next swimming everything and same with the kingdom when we get the opportunity a nice environment why don't you pass a message or two to the brethren or somebody out out there who is in dire need of the message so that's what we are doing so today a quick message that i got and uh I know it it will be of help to somebody somewhere there. It's uh, the reading of Revelation, the first book of Revelation, chapter one, only that chapter. And you know, when I say Revelation, I mean that uh, you know sometimes I believe, like me, I believe in one person who met Jesus. Not so many people who tell us that I was with God. He told me this. We sat. We sat in a room, and by the by their fruits, we were told. We are told you will know them by their fruits. So this guy, who I believe and trust, he was with the Most High God. He's called John, Apostle John. So this is what he wrote, and the message that he was given by the Most High God. It says, uh, chapter 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who testified, who testifies to everything he saw. That is the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Revelation is the word of God, the testimony of Yeshua HaMashiach. Verse 3. Blessed is the one who reads the words of this prophecy, and blessed is, are those who hear it and take to heart what is written in it, because the time is near. We are being warned, the time is near. John to the seven churches in the province of Asia. 
grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits before his throne and from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness and the firstborn from the dead and the rule of the kings of the earth to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood and he bade us to be a kingdom and priest to serve his God and Father to him be the glory and the power forever and ever Amen let he is come look he is coming that's verse 7 look he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him even those who pierced him and all the peoples of the earth will mourn because of him so shall it be amen verse 7 it confirms yeshua is coming he is on the way coming i am the alpha and the omega says the lord god who is and who was and who is to come the almighty I join your brother and companion in the suffering and the kingdom and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus. Was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. You know, John is talking about he was in the island of Patmos and sometimes when we talk of islands we just think of sea water like out here as you can see it's water sea island so I'm just trying to picture and Patmos, Patmos is where John went after he was being persecuted by the Ro Roman officials there's the Roman official, they were trying to submerge John in a hot boiling oil, but John survived it. So he went to Patmos, that's where he was. He wrote this uh, revelation about the testimony of Jesus Christ. In verse 10, on the, Lord, on the Lord's day I was in the spirit and I heard him. And I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet. So John was there meditating in the spirit. And then he heard the Lord visited him. Which said, write on a scroll what you see and send it to the seven churches in Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamon, Thy Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. I turned around to see the voice that was speaking to me. Listen here what John is trying to tell us. He turned around to see or hear the voice. And when I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. I think these are the things we are supposed to be witnessing in the kingdom of God. And among the seven lampstands was someone like a son of man dressed in a robe. That's Yeshua in a robe reach, reaching down to his feet with a golden sash around his chest. His head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like blazing fire. His feet, look at the picture that is being given here of Jesus. So that next time when you see pictures of people, somebody took a picture and then he claims to be Jesus, you'll be wise enough. He, listen what John says. His head and hair were white like wool and as white as snow and his eyes were blazing fire. He's talking about our Lord. His feet were like bronze glowing in the furnace and his voice was like the like the sound of the rushing waters i'm sure from where you are right now from the background you can hear the 
the sound of these rushing waters behind me because I'm, I'm at the seaside. Those are the sounds of the rushing waters. In, and then in his right hand, he held seven stars and out of his mouth came a sharp double-edged sword. His face was, was like the sun shining in all its brilliance. You can imagine Jesus, this, his face shining more than the sun that we are seeing up there. More than that sun shining in its brilliance. When I saw him, I felt at his feet as though I was dead because he couldn't withstand it. Just the way when Moses, God appeared towards in Moses and even Abraham, they couldn't withstand the sight of God because the brilliance was just too much. Then he placed his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead and behold I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of the death and Hades. That's the keys to hell. God, Jesus can send anyone to hell. And he's got the keys to life and death. Write therefore what you have seen, what is now and what will take place later. <clears throat> the mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand of the seven golden lampsticks is this. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. That's the end of uh, Revelation chapter 1. Just that's a snippet of what's happening in our world right now. What we are how we are supposed to follow the word of God. How the Lord appears to someone. I just want to tell you, my brothers and sisters out there, let me stand up. I just want to tell you that uh, when Yeshua appears, at least you've got to have an idea. Let people not lie to you. Let people not lie to you at all, at all, at all. At least we've got the Bible, the Holy Book. When you follow it, you know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. In Yeshua's mighty name, amen and amen. If you are there and you don't know anything about Yeshua, about the, you don't know anything about the end times, the beginnings, and you want to know about the kingdom, the most high God. Just say these words after me, please. Father, I come before you as a sinner. I've sinned against you and against the world. Forgive me of all my sins. Take control of my life. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins and he shed his blood because of me, my filthy life. Right now, on the third day, he rose again and he seated on the right hand of, of the Father. Lord Jesus, God, forgive me. Accept me in your kingdom, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. If you said that prayer, you are a child of God. The angels are happy. Heaven is happy. Join a church near you. And, uh, yeah, start reading the Bible. Get a King James Version and start reading it slowly by slowly. And you'll be surprised of how and wonderful the kingdom is and father i pray for my viewers out there each and every one of them bless them let them be enlightened about the kingdom take control of each and every one of their families and their lovely ones their jobs protect them guide them and provide for them in jesus mighty name amen and amen see you guys ne next time may the holy one of israel bless you mightily shalom peace amen